hello wonderful people you are welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial i'll be explaining to you how i made this um air cream you are looking at can you see how smooth it is there's no crack and it's so greasy it is um scar friendly and anti-dandruff air cream so let's get right into the tutorial by knowing the chemicals and the quantity we are going to use so the first one is our paraffin oil so we are going to be using 250 ml of paraffin oil so and after that we are also going to need um, petroleum jelly 65 grams of petroleum jelly so another thing we are going to need is paraffin wax 80 grams i believe you can see the name and the um, quantity needed on the screen so and after that we are also going to need um some other things and one of those things is our vitamin e oil so five mil i'll be using five mil of vitamin e oil so i'll be also be using some other oils i'll be using tea tree oil five mil i'll be using um coconut oil olive oil yeah and you will see it in the course of this video so we're also going to need lalonin 10 grams then steric acid 10 grams so you can actually make um your air cream without lalonin but in the course of this video i will show you um the usefulness of lalonin so that you will decide if you want to use it or not so this is the other oils i'm talking about olive oil coconut oil and rosemary oil five mil each so everything making 15 mil so we're also going to need um color so but please whenever you want to use color for your air cream make sure you buy oil soluble color if you buy water soluble for color for this kind of production it will not dissolve inside oil oil soluble color simply means some oil um, color that dissolves in oil so and if you want it a little bit hot you can use mentor crystals but i am not going to use mentor crystals for my own production i'm just trying to let you know you can use it if you want it hot so the first thing um you are going to do is to place your pots on your cooking stove or cooking gas or whatever and add your um, paraffin oil into it and that was what she saw me um, that I just did now. So after adding my paraffin oil, I am going to add my petroleum jelly. Remember, I am doing this on uh, medium heat, so you don't need it to boil. Just make sure the heat um, is not too high. So I've added my um, petroleum jelly and I stir. The next thing I'll come in with is my paraffin wax. And after adding my paraffin wax, I will also stir. So if you look at it very well, you will notice that there are some dirty particles um in this thing that i'm doing that is actually from the petroleum jelly i got and there are still some in the um, paraffin wax so what i'll do basically is just to um sieve it out when i am done before putting it in my container so this is my lalonin that's the next thing i'm going to add so on the screen you can see the um usefulness of lalonin so you can decide if you want it in your production or not so after adding my lalonin to uh, my uh, mixture I brought it down because it was like trying to like uh, start getting cooked so I added my steric acid so if your own is not like getting cooked you don't need to bring it down just do it on low to medium heat but when you bring it down you have to be very fast with what you are doing so I came in with uh, my oil, my um, vitamin E oil, my coconut oil, and the other oils I mentioned. So that's what I'm pouring into it. And I also came in with my fragrance. So if you calculate all the oils used in this production, it is totally 25 mil, including vitamin E oil. We use five different oils and each of them was five mil. So don't forget. So the next thing I'm going to add is my color. But guess what? This is not color. I am using turmeric powder for my own cream. So if you want to use color, just make sure you um, get oil soluble color. But it is my own decision to use turmeric powder instead of um, artificial color. So you can use moringa powder. You can use anything that you feel like it's okay for you. And it's okay for your hair and the scalp, please. So guys, after mixing everything you don't have to wait so that it will not start solidifying this is my container and i'm transferring it into it so those particles you are seeing are not the ones that i told you the other time from the petroleum jelly this is actually from my um turmeric powder like the particles so 
I've transferred it into my container and I will go I will leave it now to solidify so if today is your first time of coming across my channel why haven't you subscribed please do so hit that subscribe button put on your notification bell so that whenever I upload new video you get notified and this is our hair cream can you see there is no crack this is the way a normal hair food should come out no crack and it should not be too hard instantly I just dip my hand into it and it look exactly like all this hair cream we used to buy with a very nice fragrance so you can use any fragrance of your choice uh, of your choice rather and to all my returning subscribers I will always appreciate you please do well to like this video and share with your loved ones I hope you are going to practice this see you in my next class bye